I just made my first website using Editor X and it's pretty legit. Let me show you what I mean. So hey guys, my name is Mike, I'm a web designer and I've built a ton of websites using many platforms from WordPress and the different themes that they have to Shopify, Squarespace, Webflow. And I've always been on the lookout of, is there a platform out there that can help me build a website uh, faster with uh, sort of the unique design elements that I would like to include. So recently I received an email from Wix and they were just mentioning, hey, we saw that you make videos about websites, about building websites, can uh, you check out Editor X? And I thought, well, okay, <laughs> that's cool. And so we exchanged a couple emails and I was convinced, let me give this a shot, let me see what it's like. And I thought I would make in this video sort of like an overview of the things that I'm really excited about now having uh, having played around with this platform for like a day. All right, so here we go. It's just gonna be like a bullet point list. So Editor X is in beta, and so it's really at its initial stages, and I was just amazed at how much they have built into this product. For example, they have these ready-made sort of sections or, or things that you can put on a website called like compositions. You can even go a step further, a step backwards, let's say, and start with wireframes. So you can already wireframe within their platform. And this is kind of cool because this, I could see myself using this with, with a client where I'm trying to get text from them and trying to just get the, the content, the important stuff from them. Another thing that I really love is this built-in style guide. So immediately you can just put in the fonts that you have. You can upload uh, custom fonts if you have. And this is great because you can just set like your headers, your paragraph, all the font styles you needed and immediately they're there and you're, you're kind of set, you're, you have a good starting point. So this is those little things, they have a photo manipulation tool so you can actually take your photo and say, I, you know, put the, set the focus point on what you want. So animations, they have some animations right out of the box and so I played with them. They're pretty, they're pretty simple, they're, they're basic, but you can get some, you know, pretty, pretty cool stuff. You can already start building some fun animations uh, without having to think about any timelines or anything like that. So I really like that because um, the one thing that prevents me from doing animations is just thinking the extra time that I have to spend. But here they were pretty simple and you can even tweak, tweak them a little bit uh, to your liking. Oh my gosh, they have stock photos built in. So you can just already search within their platform and just have and just load the photos into your website. So that's definitely a time saver. Another thing that I really enjoyed was these uh, built-in vectors and shapes. You don't have to import them uh, from a design software like Figma or Sketch or, or finding them on the internet. Instead, they just have a bunch of options and then you can play with them. You can just load them immediately from their platform. So again, this is like huge because it just saves a ton of time. And just speaking of shapes, I was pretty impressed with the catalog that they have of different things that you can find. So you can search for them and I was able to find some things that even look like, you know, they've been drawn, like hand drawn. So that was really nice. So a ton of stuff built into the platform and it had me thinking like, wow, if you're someone uh, kind of like me where you end up doing the web project, mo pretty much you're doing everything yourself. You're not really splitting this among team members. Uh, I'm a person that likes to design and develop at the same time, you know, so kind of put things in, get a seat, you know, get this kind of feeling. Does it feel right? Does it flow right? And because of all these tools are kind of built in, it just gives me this more like incentive to just go ahead and just start building within and just see how it feels immediately. So I really like this. I, I could imagine that having this kind of platform makes me want to experiment more. All right, so the next part I want to talk about is just the platform feel. Uh, what did it, I guess, feel like uh, using it? And so uh, I'll just list a few things that, I, that caught my attention. So I love how out of the box they're already going forward with fluid design. So, so this is where it doesn't matter how big your screen is, your, your fonts are going to expand and they'll grow and, and everything looks, looks nice. And so it'll cover kind of your, the monitor as opposed to having, if you have a widescreen monitor and then you just have a small website right in the middle. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but like just trying to do this with CSS, it's, uh, yeah, it's taken me a little bit of, uh, you know, trial and error just trying to figure this out. So I liked how it's already there. Another thing is uh, Flexbox and ordering. So when you're going from a desktop to uh, a mobile view, Sometimes you want things, uh, you know, that are positioned left and right. You want them to stack, not like this, but actually like this. 
And so they have the controls there to do it and you end up just kind of dragging things around and it's super easy to do. And so that was really cool. And, and then finally is just the build itself. So when you build out web pages, you're basically creating sections on top of sections. And what I like to do sometimes is I like to create sort of an overlap between sections or, or kind of like a shape. So it kind of feels like the, you know, the sections are kind of connected and things are moving. I don't know, they're, they're kind of attached. So not like just blocks separated, but maybe there's like a, a shape or something. And so what it, you know, without even uh, thinking about how to do this with code or something, what you can just do is you can just put one of your shapes on the top section and then you just drag it to make it go kind of uh, on top of the, the section below and then it actually works. And so it was really easy to set up. So overall using the platform, uh, just like if you were opening Photoshop or Sketch, Figma, it doesn't matter for the first time, uh, you're gonna be like, oh, you know, it's, you know, can't find something or it's a little bit confusing. They use different words or, or something, but you know, I only played with this for a couple, yeah, a couple days really, and it's just a. Uh, I was able to kind of figure out enough to make the website. So I could imagine that if I spent a few more days, you know, I would just understand what's going on. And uh, you know, with when it comes to building websites, once you've built maybe let's say like five websites using a similar tool, but you just to tackle websites in different manners. I think then you get a pretty strong hand, you know, a pretty strong feeling of how to use the tool. So now using the platform, you know, what are my thoughts uh, going forward? So one thing that I like, and I think this is great that Wix is doing this, is that they offer you the opportunity to build websites for free. So it gives you a chance to test out the tool and just, you know, do everything. And then eventually you would just upgrade your account. You would pay for something so that you can put your website on a custom domain. But if you're just building something for, you know, charity, just a fun cause, or you just want to just test out the platform and just see, you can actually do it and you can send it to people and, you know, the site and get their impressions, what they feel. So I was really happy that you can have this uh, opportunity. Uh, the compositions and this uh, library component that they have. So eventually you can, you can just save and create sort of these reusable things and you can you know, make more web pages or, or things faster. And so if you're into creating design systems or having sort of this, you know, let me build out uh, wireframes or sort of these sections, that I could reuse in future projects, that's really possible because you can take one website, you can eventually duplicate it, and then you can use that as a starting point to build your next website. So that's really cool. And finally, just the fact that this is coming from Wix, and Wix is just such a huge company uh, in, in the web design space. So, so many businesses are using Wix uh, websites. And so over the years, they've just built a lot of applications, a lot of, a lot of integrations you know, related to e-commerce or, or let's say uh, multi-language, which is important for me, for someone that lives in a country, a, a foreign country. I'm just really excited about that they have all these things that I would assume over time, they're just gonna get integrated. And because they've already been built, I assume that putting them together is just gonna be a lot faster than these newer companies that are starting more from the bottom and they're having to build all these new things uh, step by step. So yeah, so this is like a quick summary of my thoughts on the platform. Uh, honestly, I was really impressed with it. When it comes to thinking of the tools that you'll use, uh, you kind of look at a little bit beyond and the potential that it has. And I can, I can feel that, hey, there's a lot of, there's a lot baked into this product already and it's coming from a really successful company. So there's a lot of things that give the impression to me that this is a, this is a good tool to keep your eye on and uh, if you're like me, to definitely give it a try. And speaking of trying, if you'd like to check out Editor X, so I hope this sort of review video was helpful, gives you some ideas or just like open your eyes to some of the functionalities that are out there. This wasn't a video where I wanted to show you how I'm building the website step by step, but if you are interested in something like that, let me know because I would like to make more videos around this, uh, around this space. I think it's a good tool. And so just let me know what are some questions or some things that you would like me to maybe tackle on a video and that'd be super helpful. And with that, it's time to go back to the computer. Thanks so much for watching this video and wish you a wonderful day.